This segment of Panther Sports Talk is brought to you by Lincoln Savings Bank. At home in Iowa, at work for you. Welcome back to the Panther Sports Talk Year in Review. And you and I, Athletic Director Troy Dannon, you're moving on. We are so thankful for all that you did for the University of Northern Iowa. But we want to reflect on the past several years and, and what you've done here. But I like to start at the beginning and look at uh, you as a UNI student getting involved with the UNI Athletic Department. Talk about your role there and how that made you maybe want to come back in a leadership role down the road. You know, I actually started at Iowa State as a freshman and I just didn't care for it. It was too big. I was, uh, I was a student trainer I, I, and I just didn't like it. And, and uh, the sports information director there at the time, Dave Starr, had worked for Nancy Justice. And uh, he said, you know, maybe you should, I don't have any openings, maybe you should go to Northern Iowa, talk to Nancy. And I actually came to Northern Iowa sight unseen as a student because I had a chance to work for Nancy Justice in the sports information office and, and I fell in love with it. I fell in love with the school, I, I, I fell in love with the, the business uh, of, of just working in media relations and you know everybody has their way they got in and, and mine was with Nancy in sports information and, and uh, so I left for 18 years. Uh, I got an internship because of my sports information work and left for 18 years and then came back and, and uh, you know, the opportunity to come back was, was a, and I said at the time, it was a dream. It was a dream job to come back to the campus and so many things were different but so many things were the same. Uh, and so you know, now you move on, it's, it's not that there's a job that's a dream job that I'm moving to. You know, Tulane was never a dream job, but, but Tulane is a professional progression and, and it's, a, it's an amazing opportunity, an amazing city that it couldn't turn down. But you know, I, not many people get to live their dream and I lived my dream in Northern Iowa. So in those early years, just to either talk about some of the challenges or some of the things that really you had to get to work on right away. Well, I think, you know, the, regardless of all the challenges, the, the greatest thing that was in place, there was a phenomenal group of coaches here. And, you know, over the years, probably the, the thing I'm proudest about is they stayed. Uh, but, you know, so I, regardless of the challenges, and I think everybody will point to baseball, and I, I point to baseball as, and, and that being kind of the, the defining uh, piece of those first couple of years, primarily because of the challenge of the financial and, and trying to keep a department that was really thriving, keep it in a position to, to survive and, and then thrive even further. Um, uh, but the fact that we had competitive programs and the fact that we had good coaches uh, really allowed us to get through that those first couple of years, which were, which were terribly rough mm -hmm. and, and uh, be in the position we're in today academic success with these student athletes incredible and it's even gone up since you've taken over well you know and, and i think we because of resources we weren't devoting enough resources to supporting the the academic endeavors and you know academics are tough because it's not a matter of more tutoring but it's a matter of the ncaa requirements and this the standards you have to live to as an athlete are far beyond the standards of any other student on campus and so uh, putting a support staff in place to support those interests mm -hmm. bringing gene berger here Probably in, in hindsight, the best thing I did at Northern Iowa was bring Jean Berger to this campus, and, and she's had the, uh, the internal piece uh, just buttoned up tight and nailed uh, for the last seven years. And I, I point to her as, as the catalyst for that academic improvement. Uh, more with Troy Dannon right after this here on Panther Sports Talk. <laughs> 